Hi everybody. As you all been knowing that I have left EY and I've currently joined Genpact. Okay. So you can see in my LinkedIn profile that I have joined there. So the main question that is coming here is why I left EY. Okay. So there are a lot of reason that one person will have to leave the particular organization or to join the particular organization. So I also have certain set of reasons to explain to you to understand so, so that you can take proper and wise decision for yourself as well because uh, understanding like why to leave is should not be the feeling of regret at a later point of time. Okay. Because some people takes decision based upon the salary perspective, based upon the comfortability perspective. But those things uh, comes at a later stage. Okay, those things are also important, but that will come at a later stage of time, not current. Okay, so the topmost priority to check whether that particular organization is good for you or not is there is a proper project or not, there is a proper work life balance or not. Okay, so ups and downs are part of any organization. So sometimes they will be like good work will be there. Sometimes they will be like hectic work schedule will be there. It's common thing. But what were the main reasons for which I have left EY? Okay, so I have given around three years in that particular organization. It's a great organization, by the way. So if you start working for EY, they are good number of clients basically they are premium clients they are very good clients okay and when you will start working when you will get the projects then only you will get to know like what type of projects they are in okay and how they are uh, focusing upon employees like how they are uh, giving projects how they are giving kts so it differs from company to company okay some company have good amount of clients and those clients will tell will have good amount of projects but it also varies like few clients which I have seen, they uh, treat uh, contractors, those who are working from service based company to that particular client or and the, another type of people is there, those who are directly working for that client. Okay, so there will be two type of people in a particular product based company. So product based company, you can take any company like American Express, you can take, then you can take big, big companies like CT Bank, you can take, they are, they are very pre prestigious banks. Okay, so uh, there are two type of people working over there. So one type of people who has been directly enrolled into that, okay, who have cleared the interviews and then directly they are working under the payroll of that product based company. And another type of uh, people are there, those who are going through service based company, okay. So there are a lot of service based company like Infosys, Wipro, TCS, EY. So they are also deploying us to those clients uh, projects, okay. So uh, we have to see that are they treating us differently from the uh, permanent product based uh, organized people or not okay so there are a few employees um, those who are working directly under the payroll of that company so are they treating them and us differently or not that is the important criteria that we have to consider because uh, in the uh, first client which i got it was amazing okay I got good client and they were like very much interactive. They are considering us as part of their team discussion. Okay, to discuss any uh, technical things they are considering us as well. But I have seen in certain uh, clients, I've seen certain clients where they are not considering us. They are treating us differently. Okay, their way of behaving towards the contractors is different from their own employees. So that's where I feel like some um, uh, gap is there. So that should not be the case basically. So uh, if they are considering all people same irrespective of whether they are contractors or whether they are permanent uh, payroll based employees. So they should be treated same. If not, then it creates an impact on the contractor's mind that whether I am good or not. Okay, so that should be understood by the employees, employers. <coughs> Second, the most important thing is project. Are you getting long term project or not? Because most of the service based company which I have seen, they are into uh, short term projects. The first project which I got when I've joined into EY, it was a very long term project, like 1.5 to 2 years I have worked over there. But after that, when I joined to other clients, I have seen that they were very short term projects, like two months, four months, okay, not more than that. So that's where I found a gap 
and they are giving some vague reasons like why they are uh, putting us outside why they are putting us outside of their organization and they are putting us into bench so uh, those things it uh, doesn't fit into my mind like why they have come up to this conclusion without having proper discussion with me okay so those were the things which i can see like still the senior folks those who are at a senior level they are also uh, behaving immaturely so that's where i found a gap like proper communication skill is not there proper understanding of the of the mindset of the employees is not happening so those were the lacking things which i think people are having still they are permanent employees still they are their thinking is i can't say <laughs> there is no word for me but uh, yeah so those type of thinking is totally bad we should not think differently for different people all should be considered same and they should be treated based upon the talents based upon the skill set okay so if they understand ki their skill set and their talent is not in sync with the project's requirement then they can take the decision ki yes that particular person will is not good fit for the current product for the current project okay but if they are fit they are able to do the work still you are giving such type of lame excuses uh, to kick them out of the uh, company of the, or the project that is actually i think there is a work culture has become very toxic okay so there i would not fit to be working over there honestly i am speaking i would rather focus upon uh, joining that organization which values our cultural ethics okay that should value our Uh, work culture the way we think they should value that they should listen to our perspective as well our thought process as well before jumping on to any final conclusion so that those were the things which i faced problems basically okay so this is the learning for you as well ki whenever you are joining any organization that can be either prestigious organization or a startup it doesn't matter wherever you are getting respect and where your skills are getting uh, respected okay your way of speaking your communication skill if it is on a good side they should entertain that they should consider that they should uh, put you into that uh, discussion mode where there is a team of technical discussion going on okay and if they are not considering you there that means there is some problem happening over there which you will be getting to know at a later stage of time okay so as a fresher you will uh, not get that much impacted okay you will be considered like you are not that much knowledgeable but if you are more experienced like 4 years 5 years 6 years experience then if you are going from service based company to that uh, client you are working as a contractor over there then you will see the difference i am not telling that all clients do the same but i have seen some clients who actually treats employees differently so that should not happen okay so that i am telling to all the employers who are seeing okay to all the employees those who are working as a permanent employee over there they should treat everybody equal okay based upon their skill set based upon their talents the contractors are also very talented they are also handling um, entire project one handedly okay so and most of them are individual contributors as well into the project they are handling end to end so we should not treat them differently they are also human beings they have also cleared interviews and then got into this uh, project to work upon they are also having the impact on the company's net revenue okay so those should be treated those people should also be treated as same so these are the things that we consider which increases the toxicity if not take, uh, taken into consideration so what all things we have discussed first thing is we should treat all the employees same second things there should be long term project and third we have to see that whether you are underpaid or not okay so if you are underpaid in this in the particular range of experience you are having with a particular skill set you are having you can check in the glass door okay in glass door you will be able to see like with your level of experience how much people are earning so if you are seeing that you are very much underpaid then you can request your organization you can request your employer like can you please uh, raise the uh, salary level as per my efforts which i have given for the past one year at least you should uh, work for one one and a half year then you can request that 
okay so you can request uh, that uh, i'm currently as per my experience i've seen in the glass store i've seen that uh, employees with my years of experience having an average salary of around this and i have created an impact on your organization like there is a good uh, net revenue and i've created a lot of apis like you should explain your achievements over there what all things you have done for the organization and then you just uh, back it up like like what you want then they will be hearing you happily okay and then you check like after staying for a few months you check whether that is happening or not you are working day in and day out right so you should be paid as per your hard work your hard work should get paid off but if your organization is not valuing your time then it's time for you to value your own time okay so that is the thing that i wanted to convey to you all just because life is only once okay you have to live it once so you also have to think about your own life because this time which is going by it will never come back again the time which you have spent here six years seven years like more from morning nine till uh, late night you are working these times are passing by you have to remember this okay your uh, fathers your mothers age is being passed by all your relatives all your surroundings ages are passing by this time is going by so you should work upon your health you should work upon building good relationship with your parents with your loved with your loved ones okay so and along with that you have to work as well so you have to work in that organization where they value your time okay where there is proper work life balance yes i understand sometimes ups and down comes sometimes like client deadline comes so that particular time period is fine but regularly if it is like a hectic work schedule and they are not paying you that much and you have been underpaid so that is the time actually you should go for a switch okay because that time will not come which has already been passed by and you know what is your true worth okay so these are the things which were the main reason for me that led me to come into this decision to leave EY after working for three long years. So I was basically looking for long term project. So I got long term project in a, in this uh, Genpact organization. So I am I'm, I'm grateful that I took this decision and uh, uh, I will be doing a totally new development kind of project I got. So I'm very much thankful to God for that. And you also look into your company, your employers, uh, like what all kind of project you are getting. Are they support kind of project or are they valuing your time? Okay. So is there any work life balance proper happening or not? Uh, is there any toxicity? Is there in the environment or not? Okay. They are in the work culture. So those all things you have to consider based upon that only you take decision. If, if you are thinking that everything is fine then stay there there is no issue but if any of the factor you are thinking that this is not working out for me then you surely go for a switch because life is only once and you have to live it at your fullest i hope you got the clarity and understanding on it so hope you have a good career ahead you get good uh, pay raise okay you get good career growth and you live your life happily and joyfully so it's uh, devji troy signing off bye bye